Hi, today we're going to learn about modals of ability. Remember to turn the subtitles on so you can follow along. Let's get started. The modals of ability are can and can't, could and couldn't, and be able to. I will also talk briefly about manage, which also refers to ability, but it's not an, a modal verb. So let's start with can and can't. We use can and can't to talk about someone's skill or general abilities. So she can swim like a fish, or they can't sing very well, can they? We use can to talk about the ability to do something at a given time in the present or the future. So you can make a lot of money if you work hard. This is referring to the future, but we use can. Or, referring to the present, we can't see anything. Generally, we use can and can't in spoken English rather than be able to, as it's shorter and less formal. Now let's look at could. We use could to talk about generally about someone's skill or ability in the past. So she could swim like a fish or they couldn't sing very well. We use could plus have plus the past participle to say that someone had the ability or the opportunity to do something but didn't do it. For example, I could have danced all night, but I didn't. Okay, can and could. We can use can and could with the senses. So see, hear, smell, feel and taste. For example, from the top of the hill, we could see for miles. Or I can smell something burning. Moving on to be able to. We use be able to just like can but it's more formal. Uh, we use it to talk about abilities, but we often use it in places where it's not possible to use can. For example, it isn't possible to use can after another modal verb. For example, I'm free this evening. I might be able to go to the party with you. We use was and were able to when speaking about something someone succeeded in doing on one particular occasion. For example, Mum didn't have any money on her, but fortunately she was able to pay by credit card. When talking about ability, we use can in the present and could in the past. But for perfect and future tenses, we use able to. So I have been very busy, so I haven't been able to cook dinner. This is the present perfect. Or, when you finish the, this lesson, you will be able to understand modals of ability in English. This is the future simple. We also use be able to after certain verbs that are followed by the infinitive. For example, he hopes to be able to study history at university. No, we don't use able to in continuous forms. Let's now talk about couldn't and wasn't or weren't able to. So in the negative, couldn't and wasn't or weren't able to are used for both speaking in general and when speaking about one particular occasion. So for example, Peter wasn't able to swim or couldn't swim until he was 18 years old. This is talking about a general ability. Or, I couldn't or wasn't able to do all the questions in the exam. This is referring to one particular occasion. Lastly, manage. This isn't a modal verb, but it is used to talk about ability. If we succeed in doing something difficult, we use manage. For example, he managed to save money despite his small salary. So now it's your turn. Louisa, blank, three languages, English, French, and Spanish. Can, we use can for general abilities and skills. We could use is able to here as well, but it's more formal. 
Two, I should blank play tennis at the weekend. Be able to. We use be able to after modal verbs. Three, she blanked the exam if she had worked harder. Could have passed. We use could plus have plus the past participle for things that you had the opportunity to do but didn't do. Congratulations, you now know how to use modals of ability in English. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel Oxford English Now for more free English language videos out every Friday. Thank you for watching.